Today we're going to be working on Homelink 8.8. .8. These are fraction number stories and uh, I think the best way to do these is to um, maybe draw a picture of what's happening uh, to help you understand what's going on with these stories. So you could do that on a scrap paper or the back side of your uh, Homelink. But we're going to go through these and I will help you understand what's going on because this is kind of new for us. Okay, so the first story here says Elizabeth bought a dozen eggs. First question, do you know how much is a dozen? Uh, if you don't, it's 12. Then, unfortunately, she dropped her bag on the way home and two-thirds of the eggs broke. So how many eggs broke? So <clears throat> here are the dozen eggs. They're not quite the right shape, but I think you get the idea. And she dropped these eggs, and when she did two-thirds... Oh, hold on. That's better. Two-thirds of the eggs broke. Now what we need to uh, think about for this is this means... This three, the denominator means, that's the number of groups we need to have. And the two here means that two of those groups that got broken. So the first thing is can we uh, equally split up these 12 eggs into three groups? And they have to be equal groups as well. Jack? Uh, so try splitting these into groups and maybe you're going to try to make groups like this, uh, but wait a second, okay, I have four groups and I need three groups, so that's not going to work, so hold on a second. Let's try it like this, there you go, that's better I think, and I, the thing you need to know is when you're trying these uh, story problems, you just have to try things and see if it works, Don't, if you're wrong it's okay, you just keep trying until you can figure out how to do it, it's about persevering. Now we know that two of these groups broke. So we'll say uh, broke, broke. And the question is, how many eggs broke? And we can see here that uh, this many eggs broke total. So yeah, there you go. That's how many eggs broke. Uh, now this next one. Katie mowed three-fourths of the lawn before lunch. What fraction of the lawn did she have to finish after lunch? Now, I teach in Tokyo where most people don't have lawns or mowers, but basically you need to know a lawn is a big patch of grass uh, near someone's house. So looking from above, this might be what the lawn looks like. And Katie mowed three-fourths of the lawn before lunch. So we need to split it into four parts and Katie mowed three of those four parts. So she mowed three-fourths of the lawn. So how much of the lawn, what fraction does she have to mow after lunch? There it is. And next, we've got this guy named Donnie. He lives one mile from school. So you can have very basic drawings. This here is going to be Donnie's house. And this here is going to be school. And he lives, as it says, one mile from school. So from here to there is one mile. But what happened with Donnie is he walked uh, halfway to school, then he had to go back home to get a book, which I'm sure has happened to people before, maybe even you. Then he had to, again, go back to school. So his path was something like this. He walked halfway to school, so that's one half, right? Then he had to turn around and go back to get his book. That would be another half. Then he had to go all the way back to school. And what you need to know here is one half plus one half equals one. 
So this is what he walked to go halfway and back. This is what he walked to go to school. So how far did he walk total? And the next part, let's see, we have Sheridan made four trays of cookies. She took two trays to school and she took three-fourths of a tray for her teacher. Very nice of her. So how many did she have left? Okay, so four trays of cookies, two for her classmates, three-fourths for her teacher. So <clears throat> here are her four trays of cookies, and she gave two trays for her classmates. So this tray and this tray she gave to her classmates. And then she gave three-fourths of a tray to her teacher, which means we've got to cut one of these other trays into three-fourths. And this much went to her teacher. Okay, these went to her classmates. They're gone. They ate them. These went to her teacher. So what's left? We have one here, and we have this much, which is a fraction you should know. So what's remaining is this and this, the whole number, 1, and then add the fraction here. Okay, and number 5, you know what, if you are, I know people uh, from all over might watch these videos, but if you're in my class right now, you do not need to do number 5. So you are lucky. Um, but remember for 6, 7, and 8 to uh, show your work for those problems. There's some addition and subtraction. And that's it. If you have questions, you can post them. Uh, but this takes a little bit of practice, so I'm trying to help you through it. But these are fraction number stories. And good luck with the home link. Thank you.